All right, hello everyone. Hopefully, well, it's a little bit echoey in here, but it's not too bad. I wanna give you a little tour of my art exhibit, which I mentioned in a previous video. I'm here, it's been up for about two weeks, and I'm just gonna give a little walkthrough here because uh, it's coming down tomorrow. I'll be in here tomorrow deinstalling everything, so. Everyone who couldn't make it, some of you came to the uh, reception. Some of you have been here when I haven't been here, just when the gallery's been open. But I know a lot of you are far away or just couldn't make it for other reasons. So I wanted to give a little, little glimpse to everyone else. Um, I am noticing, like maybe this was, this string was supposed to be like a little bit tighter. See how it's like sagging? All the strings are supposed to be like, and some of the strings are tight, and I don't know why this one is sagging right now. Anyway, so here you have it. It's uh, that wall, move my finger, that wall, that wall, and this wall over here. And there's other stuff in this room, but the lights aren't on. Here's the, um, here's my little artist statement. And I think it's called like a, I don't know what it's called, basically, Pause, pause the video here if you want to read this. But that was one of those things where I like wrote it and then the more I read it, it started to seem very convoluted and dizzying. And then I just had to turn it in because there was a deadline. And I'll try to explain basically now as I show you some of this stuff close up, what my intentions were behind this, behind this exhibit. Um, basically, feel like there's a lot, there is, I don't feel like it, there is a lot of information out in the world. It's easily accept, accessible to us. We can go absorb it. But sometimes I feel like the more that we learn, we just learn that there's even more information out there and we can never figure it all out. Even if you dedicated your whole life to learning, you could never learn everything, all right? So that's one thing that I, that I know, that I feel kind of all the time. And um, so this, I presented a lot of this in a way, similar to like a detective's crazy board, right? You know, so you see it in movies, arranging a bunch of information in a way that will hopefully lead to a specific piece of knowledge. Plus, uh, incorporated heavily are these diagrams that I've always liked doing, right? I've always liked doing these diagrams. But these are another thing which normally are supposed to impart specific knowledge. They're supposed, they're supposed to help you uh, understand something more. Like, that's typically the purpose of a diagram. But just like my my detective's crazy board, my diagrams, my diagrams only serve to maybe confuse more or make you keep wondering about things or just kind of lead you uh, totally in some unknown direction, right? And I guess that's kind of me trying to explain my frustration with the world that as much explanatory stuff as there is out there, I'll never really be able to figure it out. Maybe that's how I feel. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Hopefully that made some sense. So basically, this uh, piece of string right here, as you see going all around, that's one big piece of yarn. I mostly did that to avoid tying a lot of knots because I'm not good at knots. It starts and ends right here, secret. See a little bit of a knot there. And then as, it looks like I drew on the wall here, but these are really just uh, really big pieces of vinyl. And then here are a bunch of my paintings you might have seen over the years. I drilled them to the wall. There's two screws in each one of them. And then I just use hundreds of thumbtacks everywhere. These are just like big Posca paint pens that I drew with. Sometimes I wrote some more on the paintings that wasn't on there already. And uh, just a made up script. It doesn't mean anything. A lot of people asked, you know, like, oh, you made up your own made up your own alphabet. A lot of you know that, yeah, I just like scribbling. 
I feel like writing something sometimes. I don't know what to write. So sometimes I'll just write uh, total, total nonsense, you know, like weird little letters like this, or I'll just make lists of words, kind of stream of consciousness words, just whatever pops into my head first, just because I like the feeling of writing. Because it feels almost as good as drawing, because letters are just tiny little drawings, especially these kind. Each one of these little things just like a little individual doodle. And you might notice here, a lot of these were previously in sketchbooks and I, I unbound and cut apart a lot of sketchbooks, but I don't feel too bad about it because it seems like, I mean, the drawing still survived. I had to stop thinking of the sketchbooks as a sacred whole thing. And it was fun to uh, deconstruct them a little bit in that way. And then I drew on some of them, you know, like this piece got some red marker on it. And at first I was like, there's no way I could ever do that. But then I was like, yeah, that's kind of fun actually. That doesn't, you know, I'm the one that drew this part of it. I can draw on it more if I want to. It's not like a, some, some special thing that I that can never change anymore, never serve another purpose, never become part of a bigger thing. I don't know, so I was really happy with how it turned out. All of these uh, photos are photos I took with various uh, disposable cameras. I just labeled them random ways, etc., etc. Not sure what else I have to say. There's a, this is the, this, this used to be the big accordion sketchbook. That one's a pretty cool big chunk up there. Yeah, so I had a good time putting it together. It took a long time. And then I have to, in order to uh, change the direction of the string, I ran it through these eye hooks and then it came out here under the arch and connected to the other parts of the exhibit. Also, I thought it was fun to only have these yellow pieces of paper in the frames because they're like not drawing paper, you know, they're just like scrap uh, legal pad paper. And then like some of this nicer paper I don't have in frames. Nicer paper, nicer pens. This is just lousy paper with ballpoint pens, I think, for most of them. And you can see how the paper is like rippling under the, under the, the ink. Yeah. Pretty cool. Most of these drawings are online elsewhere, but this is the first time, you know, they've all, this is the first time they've all kind of hung out together like this. So it was really fun setting it up. Once, it, like with most of my art, I had to kind of let go with the thing that was in my head when I started, but it is pretty close to what I had in my head when I started. Pretty close. I'm hoping I'm not missing anything important I wanted to say. There's one of the other exhibits over there. Hmm. Pretty awesome. Thanks for watching everyone.